What's going on, everybody? Getting back kind of late. Uh, me and the wife went to see Aquaman tonight. It was... I really enjoyed this movie. I'll go ahead and start with that. And it wasn't a hard movie to get my wife to go to because, well... I mean, look at him. You're not going to have a hard time getting your wives to go see this movie. She'd been lusting after him since she'd seen him in uh, Justice League. So, this was not a hard sell. I'm a little tired. It's like 2 a.m. here, so I'm not going to drag this out too long. I need to get in the bed. But uh, to start off with, this was like the brightest, like most colorful DCEU movie I've seen. I mean, I know no Wonder Woman was a little bit more colorful than, <coughs> excuse me, you know, Batman versus Superman or... Uh, Man of Steel or any of that but this one here Aquaman was by and large like the the brightest most colorful to me DC EU movie and I mean I know that's not really a major selling point but it was just nice to get away from that dark dreary ass back you know setting background whatever but uh, I didn't I've, I'm aware of, I was aware of the characters in the movie I'd seen some animated stuff. I had not really read any of the books other than the uh, new 52 storyline when they first started it up. So I knew who the trench was and I was kind of excited to see him in this movie, especially with James Wan being the director, because I mean, he got started out on saw. He was a horror director and I was like, well, maybe we'll get, you know, shades of that with the trench like it was in the books. But, and I mean, it was, you know, a little bit like that, but they didn't do it as kind of as hardcore as they did with the books. But I still enjoyed it. Now, uh, I was a big fan of how they did... <coughs> excuse me. I was still a big fan of how they did Black Mana. And Black Mana's one of those villains, like, you don't really care much about him when you see him in books, but when they stick him in a movie and they do something cool with him, you you know, you like him. I mean, he was pretty cool. And uh, Ocean Master, I couldn't believe I didn't recognize the actor who was the Ocean Master because he had been in the Conjuring movies. And I was just like, I got to looking at it. I was like, is that who that is? I, I know. I mean, I know that's not relevant to that, but I mean, it's just, you know, you don't really pay attention to the credits and then you see somebody that you know from other movies and it's just kind of surprising to you. But um, start to finish, I mean, there wasn't a whole lot of slow spots in this and it was, it was and it was pretty amusing. There wasn't a whole lot of cheesy jokes. I'm not going to get into a whole lot of spoilers here. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to get into any. But um, I, I know there's not a lot of Aquaman fans out there. But, I mean, I think you're going to be happy with your movie. And, I mean, I, like I said, I'm not an Aquaman fan. I had about base level knowledge of the character going in. And I pretty well enjoyed the movie. And I think just somebody off the street would enjoy it too. I mean, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty standard popcorn fare as far as, you know, entertainment value. I could watch it a couple of times. I mean, I don't, don't know if it's anything I'll buy when it hits the shelves, but I enjoyed it. And, uh, I know the wife enjoyed it too. I, was, I mean, she basically stared at Jason Momoa the whole movie, but. I mean, I guess if I was a chick, I would too. But uh, there you have it. Aquaman was pretty good. Uh, if you get to see it, you know, get back with me in the chat in the comments. Let me know how you feel about it. You know, if you got a opposing viewpoint on that, we'll talk about it. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.